Hello and welcome to today's Daily Marketing Fix at 6 show. My name is Angela Carter and I want to welcome you to another episode of the Daily Marketing Fix at 6. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome. This is your daily dose of marketing, uh, team building, and business building tips to help you succeed in any network marketing company that you're in, no matter what company you are promoting. And so this week we are celebrating team building. This is all about team building. We're sharing with you some strategies that can help you build a large, active, duplicating team inside of your existing network marketing company. So just to give you a quick background of myself, um, for those of you who um, are new to me, um, I am a Christian home-based business owner. I am also a blogger and online marketing trainer, and I help struggling network marketers who are unfulfilled uh, in their current career uh, as an employee um, turn their frustration and their unfulfillment to a full-time business that they love and leading the life of their dreams. I've been able to do that myself, going from a unfulfilled, unhappy licensed attorney to now being full-time in this industry. I um, have been able to now bring in close to 400 people into my business all by leveraging the power of the internet. I've been able to speak on stage at two of my company events. I'm a multiple five-figure earner, and I have helped people in various different companies be able to get results online. People who are in Mary Kay, Vacation Travel, Five Links, and various different companies across the industry. And so what I'm going to do in today's video, today's episode, is share with you the four keys to a great team culture that keeps people around so you can build a stable residual income. So what's the key to culture? So first, let me kind of give you this um, background. I kind of talked about this in yesterday's episode that there's really kind of two main things that you want to have in place when it comes to building a team inside of a network marketing company. That's systems and that's for duplication and you want to have a great culture um, for retention. So great culture and great systems lead to duplication and retention. So we're going to talk about today in today's episode all about culture, how to have a great culture in your team, but I wanted to kind of give you the framework first. Um, and also, we're going to talk about the key to having a great culture and why culture matters. Culture is important because it helps you keep people around. Um, you know, I think so many, so much in our industry is focused on recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. I just need to get people in. I need to get people in. But if you don't know how to keep them around, <laughs> how to keep the people around that you're bringing in, you keep having this revolving door like we talked about yesterday in yesterday's episode of Daily Marketing Fix at 6 show. And so the key is you want to learn how to master systems to bring people in and have your team um, leverage those systems to be able to recruit as well. But you want to have a great culture so you can keep the people in that you're recruiting. And so here are the four keys to building a great culture that keeps people around so you can build a stable, stable residual income. Key number one is having weekly team gatherings. Now, the key to a great weekly team gathering is you want to be able to have inspirational stories that are going on every week where you're bringing out, you're pulling out people in your organization who are getting results. The new blood is the lifeblood of your organization. So you want to be able to highlight people who have just got it started in your in your company, in your organization, people who... Um, Maybe have been around for a while, but they're finally getting serious and they're finally following uh, your system and highlighting that, highlighting those success stories, those new success stories for your organization through your weekly team gathering. Why do you want to do that? So much of what we do in terms of leading a team and building a team is we want to build belief in our organization. So you could have a great system. You could have a system that works, but if your team doesn't believe that it'll work, if they don't believe that it'll work for them, you it, you won't get duplication and you won't build a great culture. So the key is you want to have a weekly team gathering where a part of your gathering is you bringing on people, showcasing, highlighting those success stories of people who are following your system and who are getting results. So that way it builds social proof and belief in your team members who maybe aren't following the system, who aren't plugged in, who aren't um, taking action. They can now see, whoa, wait a second. Okay, maybe this actually does work. And you'll see just from that consistent edification of those new success stories, those those new people who are getting new results in your organization, that consistency of bringing them consistently every single week in front of your entire organization, you're going to see better duplication. You're going to see people believing that this actually works, believing that it can work for them. And now you're going to have more people who are taking action, who are getting results. And that leads to momentum and growth in your organization. So 
key number one to a great culture is weekly team gatherings where you have weekly inspirational stories. You're pulling out the new people who are getting new results. But also on these team gatherings, you want to also share new content, new training to show people, keep them coming around, getting more and more because those who want to succeed, those who are ambitious, those who are driven, those who are coachable on your team, they want strategies. You know, they want to know what works and what's working. So you want to make sure that in your weekly team gatherings, you're not only highlighting the success stories of people who are following your company system and getting results to show proof to those who are on your team gathering that what you are teaching and what you guys are doing, the system you have works if they only work it. But you also want to um, showcase new training, new content, some new strategies, give them something that they can take away in terms of helping them you know, take their business and their results to the next level. So the key number one that we talked about there was weekly team gatherings. You want to have weekly team gatherings going on in an organization to build culture, build community. The second key that you want to have is a common vision. This is the one that I think most people, most network marketers leave out of their organization is having a team vision. What are you guys are, what are you, what is the team about? What are you, um, united in what you're trying to do. What are you trying to accomplish together? And it has to be a big vision. You're, if you're leading an organization or you have the desire to lead a big organization, you want to have a vision that is so big that it encompasses the vision of all the people that are coming into your team. So for example, if you, uh, let's say you, you want to attract people, you're like, I want to attract serious people. I want to attract people who really want to build something big. What's your vision? And does your vision include their vision? So if you have someone who wants to um, hit, become a six-figure earner, what's your vision? Is it just to be a five-figure earner? You say, well, wh how does that, why does that matter? You want to show people that your vision of where you're going includes their vision. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this on a free training that I'm having this week. You can go to sixfigureteamwebinar.com to get registered. I'm actually going to help you craft out your attractive vision live on that training. Um, so you want to make sure that you get registered if you haven't yet. I think we've got now 90 people registered for that training. So I'm going to teach you how to have an attractive vision for your specific company and for what it is that you're passionate about, who you want to help. Um, and I'll give you an example of what that means. So if you are, let's say, for example, I've worked with a lot of women who are working moms who want to be able to stay at home with their children. You want to be able to take your personal why for how you're, why you're building the business and turn it into a team vision. How many women do you want to help go from being a working mom to stay-at-home mom? What's the number? How many people? So now it's not just about you, but you're showing people, I actually want to lead others. And I have a vision that I'm not going to stop until I hit this certain number of how many people I want to help free. Just doing that in itself is going to attract more people to you. Why? Because everybody else in this industry is so focused on their why. Find the why that makes you cry. Right. And I always tell people you want to remix that. What's a why that's making somebody else cry that you're passionate about, that you want to lead people through that problem. And you want to now in your marketing, in your online marketing, because that's one of the things that I help people do in your online marketing, in your videos, in your Facebook posts. You want to share your vision. Are you sharing your vision? Are you talking about it? Are people clear on it? Does your vision include other people's vision? So you want to make sure that you have a common vision that includes other people's goals, other people's whys. That's what a leader does. A leader is casting a vision that includes the visions of all their people. So if you're only focused on what you want to get out of the opportunity, that's the reason why you haven't attracted a large team of people to you yet because you're only focusing on leading yourself, but you want to be able to cast a vision that's bigger than you. If you want to be able to pay off your student loan debt, you want to cast a vision. How many people this year are you leading to getting free from their student loan debt? So we're going to talk about that in the Six Figure Team webinar. So make sure that you get registered because not only am I going to talk about helping you craft out your attractive vision to attract a large team. But I'm actually going to, we talked about um, key number one, which is having a weekly team gathering, which is another key to having a great culture. I'm actually going to give you the activity systems of what you should be doing daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly, and annually inside of your organization to build a big team. That's going to be on the Six Figure Team webinar. So you want to go to sixfigureteamwebinar.com to get registered. All right, so we've covered two keys so far of the four. Key number one, have a weekly team gathering where they're seeing inspirational stories. You're pulling out people who are getting results, the new people, not the people who have been six-figure earners for five years who have been doing this, but you want to bring out the new person, the person who just got their first sign up, the person who just got their first customer. You want to bring them out on your team gatherings. Why? The new the new people build belief. They're going to have more excitement than the people that have been around for a while. Also, it shows your 
people in your organization who maybe haven't started taking action yet, that this works. And it's not just working for those people on stage. It's not just working for the, the existing leaders, but it's working for that new mom that just got started. It's working for that, that new, um, corporate employee that just got started who didn't know anything about anything, but they just did the system. That's why you want to pull out these inspirational stories to build belief in your people because you can have the best system. You can have something that works and you can give it to people. Keisha says it's true. Yeah. You could give people the system and say, look, this is what I'm doing. But if they feel like, well, you just, you know, you just have this ability. You're just so charismatic or you just have this. They don't believe that it'll work for them. So you want to keep bringing out new stories, new stories of the new story. And eventually... Eventually, for those people who have a strong why, who really want to build it, they're going to see enough success stories where they're going to say, you know what, it's time for me to get in the gear. So you want to make sure that in your weekly team gatherings, you're highlighting those new success stories. So we talked about that. That's key number one, a weekly team gathering. Key number two that I just talked about was having a common vision, having a common vision that encompasses the vision of all the people that you are trying to attract. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that on this week's free webinar that I'm doing. So the third key, let's talk about that, is a common set of rules or you can say commandments, but I just say a common set of rules that you're going to have for your team. One of the things that I did, um, that we did for my team that helped us dominate the company leaderboard, we were on every single leaderboard that our company had. Um, and one of the things that helped us to be able to do that is we created a, a, a it wasn't like a, a hard, fast set of rules, but it was how we treated each other. So we created a family-like environment that was a big part of our culture where we treated each other like family. So how did we do that? Um, one of the things that we did that wasn't really like a hard, fast rule, but it was just something that it was part of our environment. It was part of how we interacted with each other. We would call each other bro or sis. Hey, bro. Hey, sis. If we saw each other at an event. Hey, bro. Hey, sis. If we were talking to each other in our Facebook group. Hey, bro. Hey, sis. And it was like this family environment where you're like, wow, okay, the, when I was on, you know, at my job, my coworkers don't call me bro or sis, and if they did, I don't think they, you know, consider me like that because I got to watch my back around them. It was different. When you saw that, wow, they, we actually respect each other. You actually wanted to stay a part of that environment because you're like, look, I don't want to go anywhere else because I don't know if I'm going to be treated like this in any other team. So what are gonna, what's, gonna, what's the environment that you want to create for your team? What's the atmosphere? Is it a family-like environment, a sense of belonging? How can you do that in your daily language with each other so people can see, you know, this is family. We're not just saying this, but we are. Um, another thing that we did, which is this is a common rule, is that at our company events, we had team jackets. You wanted to be a part of the dream team. It was the it was to the point where at our company events, we were the only team that had jackets. And if you think about it, look at organizations like volunteer organizations or even sororities or fraternities. They had the jackets. Um, you know, in high school, you had the varsity jackets. And it was like, wow, you know, you were part of something special if you had a jacket. You could create that in your organization. So the rule was make sure you wear your jackets. We got all wear our jackets. Uh at the company event, we're going to take a picture. We always took a picture, a group picture. Uh, this Saturday it was like the second day of the event. Have some common rules in place because if you look at um, groups that grow big, fraternities, churches, organizations, they have rules. They have rules of how they interact with each other. They have rules for how uh, how they, they organize together. So you want to have that in place for your team. And that's one of the things that we did that helped us tremendously be able to keep people around for a long period of time because they felt like this is family. This is, this is my family. This is my business family. So you want to have that as well. And the last and final key, the fourth key, is some kind of a marketing tool. Some marketing tools, some marketing mechanisms, something that you can put in place for your team to use. Anything that's third party. Uh, it could be jackets. That's another thing that, that, you know, a jacket is also a marketing tool. Um, because people want to say, well, what, what's the dream team? What is that about? Or whatever your name of your team is. Um, so you want to have some kind of a tool that your team members can wear, like wear and share that will make it easy for them to be able to feel like they are a part of something special. And just by them wearing it, just by them having those tools, people, other people who are not a part of the team will want to be, will be curious and say, Hey, what, what is this about? What is this dream team? What is that? And now that gives them an opening to be able to share about the team. So I want to recap here for those of you who um, kind of came in late again, weekly team gathering is key. Number one, common vision. Number two, number three, a common set of rules and number four some kind of a marketing tool or marketing mechanism like a wear and share t-shirts jackets anything like that that can help your team get the word out about 
uh, what you guys are doing. And not only that, make them feel comfortable and feel like what they're a part of is something special because you're working towards a common vision together and you have um, some rules and organization about what you're doing. And that will help. And that I see Keisha is giving likes. Awesome, awesome. So if you got value out of this, like, comment, and share um, this broadcast. But be sure to get registered for the webinar that I'm doing this week. Um, it's, the first one starts tomorrow. So I'm giving you two different options. You'll see at sixfigurewebinar.com. Um, there's two different options I'm giving you. So if you, both the webinars are going to be the same. So I'm just giving you two different options in case you can't make it on Wednesdays. You can make it on Thursday. So there's two different options. Pick the date and the time that works best for your schedule. But I'm going to give you more meat and potatoes um, on the webinar. Um, specific, specific, specifically, I'm going to give you the uh, weekly team gathering activity. So the activities that you should be doing daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, annually for your team. I'm going to give you that whole entire schedule on the webinar. And I'm also going to give you um, just some guidelines on how to create a vision because it's actually actually going to help you recruit too. So we're going to talk about the six steps to six figures. That's the webinar happening this week. Be sure to get registered at sixfigureteamwebinar.com and be sure to tune in tomorrow for another episode of the Daily Marketing Fix at Six Show. With that being said, have an awesome and productive rest of the evening and I'm excited to see you on tomorrow's Daily Marketing Fix at Six and hopefully on tomorrow's webinar as well. Bye.